Hey folks, reconnect back here today and I got a special little video. Shout out to all my new subscribers and um, let's take a little walk and uh, we'll try to see what we can find. I have a couple of things today I would like to do. First thing is um, I'm going to show off a very nice, very large, very sharp bowie knife. Um, by the brand Old Timer. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Also, I'm going to be trying to look around for some bricks because I want to build a little homemade forge and try to melt down some uh, aluminum, tin, maybe some iron as well if it gets hot enough. So hopefully that'll be an upcoming video for you guys. That'll be a pretty neat, pretty interesting video. So always stay tuned and um, let's go for a little walk and uh, I'll find a nice little place to showcase my new beautiful bowie knife for you. And uh, I'm actually here in the sun because it's pretty chilly, <laughs> believe it or not, even though it, it did warm up enough to melt most of the snow around here, it is still pretty chilly. So I came out here to this nice clearing to catch a little bit of rays before we get into this deep, dark, mysterious forest. <laughs> Welcome back. So before we get into the uh, cool stuff, I guess you could say, I just wanted to discuss what I got here. You can see I found a couple of uh, willing volunteers to go up against the Bowie knife, which is pretty impressive little apples. I must say, I wouldn't want to stand on the other side of this knife blade. So <laughs> brave little apples here. And don't worry about the little apples. They'll make good food for all the hundreds of thousands of squirrels and little critters, chipmunks, rats, mice, birds, even bugs. But anyways, let's get into the cool stuff here. Um, show you, here's the knife in the holster. You can see it is the old timer brand. And I'll take it out here for you guys. It's got a neat little, very easy, accessible um, holster and there it is there beautiful beautiful bowie knife it is absolutely massive as well um, got some very good weight and it also is very thick so you can see that it would be very durable 
And a couple of little interesting features of this knife, as you can see down here at the top of my hand, it, there is a little guard. So although this Bowie knife is very good for slashing, which I'll demonstrate here on this t first apple, um, it is also extremely effective, uh, more effective than slashing um, in stabbing. And that's because of this guard. When you stab into something there, this guard will stop your hand from slipping all the way up. So it is a very effective stabbing weapon and also very good slashing weapon. Now, um, I haven't chopped anything really with this knife. It's actually brand new, so this will be the first time. But um, it's also a very good knife just for clearing uh, just thick brush like this in general. Some of this bush here in Canada can be very thick, um, similar to a lot of jungles, believe it or not. So having something like this, like a machete-like weapon that's also um, very good for protecting you against the bears up here, the wolves, um, coyotes, who knows what else, right? So out here with this thing, um, because I don't have any guns nor my hunting license, this is a very good alternative. Also having something like a big spear or a throwing knife, and you can see here, it has a lashing there down at the bottom. So you can actually tie this off to something with a very uh, proper knot. And you could make a very nice spear to give you that, um, that, that distance advantage there, that, that length advantage. Um, that's good to have against mountain lions, cougars, uh, bears even, right? So problem with this is you have to get up close and personal for it to be effective. Whereas if you tie it off to in the end of a stick, you could uh, uh, be way more effective at length, right? And be at a safe distance. So just to show you, we'll put it down here, give you a nice look at the beautiful, beautiful color. I love it. Old Timer is the brand, I believe. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful design of the knife. You can tell just by looking the way they shaped the knife here and uh, the way they designed it that it's a very effective chopping and very effective, um, especially effective stab here. Drop down point at the front. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and take the microphone out for you and set this camera up in a nice little spot so that you can have a nice steady view of these poor little apples being chopped and slashed. Okay folks, I hope you enjoy and here we go. Well, as you can see, um, I'm really not the best at chopping <laughs> or slashing. Um, 
But I think you got the right idea. Now I know those are just apples, but uh, geez, when I was slashing there, I went into the wood about, uh, I'd say at least an inch or so. So uh, really sharp, really effective knife. I'm gonna have to work on my uh, aiming skills with it clearly. <laughs> and um, I didn't end up any finding any bricks, unfortunately. So I may just have to gather up a whole bunch of clay um, from the clay deposit just a little bit um, I'm pretty sure that's north from here so just a little bit north from here by the river and I may have to make up a whole bunch of clay bricks and fire them up and uh, that would be a nice little neat process to show you as well so stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed guys and uh, we'll see y'all soon take care <laughs>